Becoming a soldier in the United States Army National Guard is not easy, but it is worthwhile. It all starts with basic combat training, or BCT. During the 10 weeks of BCT, you will learn to overcome any challenge placed before you. Going from a civilian to a member of the world's most elite fighting force will transform you both physically and mentally. The U.S. Army has four sites for BCT. Fort Benning, Fort Jackson, Fort Sill, and Fort Leonard Wood in St. Robert, Missouri. Basic training is divided into three phases, red, white, and blue. New soldiers training at Fort Leonard Wood will first arrive at the USO station at St. Louis Airport, where a thousand new recruits pass through each week. Whenever I arrived here, um, I didn't know what was going to happen, like at all. The USO is a private, non-profit organization that lifts the spirits of our troops at hundreds of locations around the world. I'm from St. Louis, but I'm already homesick. I know I'm going to miss my family and friends a lot. It's the way it has to be. After signing in at the USO, you will be picked up by bus and driven to the BCT training center. Is everyone have a USO? Yes, sir. Soldiers in BCT are progressively given more responsibility, privileges, and independence with each new phase of training. Whoa, this is for real. I'm, I'm going to start basic training today. It is here you meet your drill sergeant. Listen up. From here on out, you will not do anything until the drill sergeant tells you to do so. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You will respond with yes, drill sergeant, no, drill sergeant. Do you understand? Yes, drill sergeant. You're off the book. Let's go. You are taking entirely too long. Hurry up. Get off this bus. Hurry up. New soldiers arrive at Fort Leonard Wood Reception Battalion. And after a final phone call to inform family they've arrived safely. I have arrived at Fort Leonard Wood. I am safe. I will call you. I am safe. I will call you. Thank you. They receive clothing for physical training, a laundry bag, a pistol belt, and a canteen. Then it's on to the barracks for sleep. All right, let's go. Parents and spouses, you need not be concerned if you don't hear from your loved one over the 10 weeks of basic training. Families will be happy to know that soldiers will be treated with respect, will not be harmed or hazed, and be assured that your soldier will receive the best training and care the Army has to offer. Soldiers assemble in line order, splitting males and females into two groups. Males and females train together but are housed separately and will receive three square meals a day. Reception typically lasts four to seven days and includes initial preparations like haircuts, physical examinations, dental exams, x-rays, and optometry exams, distribution of uniforms and personal gear, and ensuring soldiers are administratively prepared for training. You will process through DEERS, the Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System, it is also here that you will receive your military ID. You will have your photos taken in Army Combat Uniforms, or ACUs. The medical moment of truth is when you are going to be questioned about your past medical history. It's important to disclose honestly what has happened in the past with you in the way of any uh, psychological or physical problems that you've experienced in the past because of the fact that it would affect your training and put yourself potentially in danger, potentially put other soldiers in danger if you're not ready for training. Soldiers will undergo their preliminary medical exams that include blood tests and immunizations. Out of your initial pay, a $350 advance will be loaded onto your Eagle car that can only be used to purchase necessary items for completion of training. The post exchange, otherwise known as the PX, carries only essential materials. Don't expect to find refreshments or snacks here because they are not allowed during BCT. Be prepared 
because there's no smoking, no alcohol, no drugs, and no junk food during training. Privates overall, when you arrive here at Fort Leonardwood, what I want you to keep in mind is that you need to keep an open mind. Let the process work. What I mean by let the process work is don't fight your drill sergeants. They're here to help you. They're here to provide mentorship to you. They're here to teach you. They're here to coach, coach and mentor. That's our basic goal here. We're going to provide you that training and walk you through that training step by step. A drill sergeant is never going to make you do anything that they wouldn't do themselves first. They're going to demonstrate every task that they're going to ask you to do. All these tasks are going to be incorporated into you to make you the soldier that you will be when you leave out of here. Once you leave out of here, know that you've received some of the best training you could possibly receive in the U.S. Army here at Fort Leonard Wood. Red Phase, weeks one through three. Upon arrival at your BCT training unit, BCT begins with soldier integration. Why are you still on this bus? Get off of the bus! period, they're going to get a first-hand experience with what it's like to have drill sergeants. Put your left arm up, your left arm, put your left arm up and move down. It's going to be, it's going to be an eye-opening experience for a lot of them. Some of them are going to be, are going to be a little set back on their heels. Open up and take your feet. Three, go, 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 go. But they're going to be fine. This, this process lasts for about a half a day. Yes, yes, and then they'll start processing their paperwork and get them squared away. This is just that, welcome to the Army. I'm your drill sergeant. Arms, spread them out so I can see you. Three at each arm. So I can see Three at each arm. Three at each arm. That's in your head. Do you know what your arm is? It's just part of your body. Over the course of 10 weeks, these recruits learn about the seven core Army values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. It's extremely important that they come ready to train and have a positive attitude. Moving through the red phase, soldiers develop basic combat skills with emphasis on equipment familiarization and skill development such as first aid, physical readiness training, and team building. Highlights include the confidence course and the gas chamber. I ain't never doing that again. In the gas chamber, soldiers are exposed to CS gas and are expected to react. The reason why we have soldiers do this is that give them uh, confidence in their protective mask, to show them that they will stay sealed to their face in a chemically contaminated environment, and they will be able to continue their mission, no matter what the enemy throws at them. My face will burn a little bit better than that, am I right? The most Sweet. wonderful experience Sweet. ever. During weeks four through six, white phase, soldiers begin honing their skills with basic rifle marksmanship. Soldiers will also train in combatives, otherwise known as ground fighting techniques. There are no weapons, and soldiers are trained to close in on the enemy. A combination of fighting disciplines are taught, from the stand-up fighting skill of traditional and Thai boxing, to the throws and takedowns of wrestling and judo, to the ground grappling of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. The combination can be brutal, tempered by intelligence and common sense. 
This training builds a more competent soldier. The confidence course tests personal courage on elevated obstacles. And that obstacle that looks scary on the bottom once you start getting up. It gets a little bit easier once you're crossing those 4x4s. Four four it gets definitely gets scarier because you just look down, there's nothing below you, but once you get to the top and you start climbing down, it's not scary at all. You will learn your strengths and weaknesses and learn to depend on your battle buddies to make it to the end and complete the course. Also during this phase, soldiers are instructed on tactical foot marches, on map reading, land navigation, and compass skills. 74? What's up, 78? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Phase concentrates on individual tactical training and increased leadership, self-discipline, and teamwork. This phase is the culmination and the most challenging of all the training phases. During the U.S. Weapons Immersion, trainees first practice with dummy grenades. And graduate to live grenades. You have a good grip. Yes, Sergeant. Stand up, hold hand, throw grenades. They will also undergo field training exercises and simulated combat scenarios during the day and at night. You will have a battle buddy who communicates what needs to happen so that you can stay accountable for your team. You've done it. Completed basic combat training and taken your place among the greatest fighting force in the world. You've passed the red, white, and blue phases, and now proudly wear those colors on your U.S. Army National Guard uniform. Your family, friends, and loved ones will be proud of you. People will look to you and look up to you. You are a soldier. Your future, unlimited.